Hello, welcome to today's brand new video where we're going to be having a look at how to install Windows 11 completely from scratch using the media creation tool which is available on the Microsoft website. I'm going to make the guide as easy as possible for you and I'm going to take you in every step in as much detail as possible. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a working computer and you're going to need a USB stick to install Windows 11. And just before we get started, remember if you're after any PCs or graphics card, make sure to visit our website we've got plenty of stock available at the moment so we should be able to meet all your needs without any further ado let's get on to this Windows 11 installation first thing that we're going to need to do is head onto a computer that you've got functioning and we're going to look for the Windows 11 media creation tool page so that we can download that first so let's go ahead and do that right now while we're on the computer we're going to type in Windows 11 media creation tool and what you should find is that the first link is going to take you to the Microsoft page where we can download Windows 11. The one we want is this one right here, create Windows 11 installation media. We're going to click this download button right here and that's going to begin the download. Once the download is complete, you should be able to find the media creation tool for Windows 11 in your downloads folder on your computer. Now that the media creation tool is downloaded, we want to take our USB stick and we're going to plug it into the computer. Before we do that though, make sure to find a USB stick that you don't plan to keep your information on because by doing this, it's going to delete everything on your USB. All you need to do now is find a free USB slot on your computer and we're going to connect the USB right there. As you can see, the USB drive opened itself automatically just then. Um, we don't need this right now, so we're going to get rid of that. But as you can see just here, the, the USB drive is available. We're going to head back to our media creation tool and we're going to run this now and we're going to let it open and set itself up. Once it's opened, just have a quick scroll through the terms and conditions and we're just going to press accept at the end there. If you're planning to reinstall on the same computer, I recommend that you leave this ticked. However, if you're planning to install on another computer, you might want to untick this and select a different language or a different edition if it's available. For now, we're going to use the recommended options for this PC because we're going to be installing back onto this PC and we should be good to go. So after we click next, we're going to choose our USB flash drive, which it states here needs to be at least eight gigabytes. We're going to click next. Um, this is going to find our USB drive straight away as we've already put it in the computer. So we're just going to select that and press next again. Now what's happening is the media creation tool is setting up your USB drive with Windows 11. Depending on your internet speed, this could take between 15 minutes to half an hour um, for Windows 11 to download. So you need to give this a little bit of time and then you should be good to go. While the Windows 11 USB is being set up, now is a perfect time. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to go and subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot more content that we think you're going to enjoy and is going to help with your journey into Windows 11. Now that you've done that, let's continue with the rest of the video. The media creation tool has finished the setup on our USB. So all we're gonna do is come and click finish down here. That's gonna finish up and then the window is just gonna close for us. Once you finish installing Windows 11 on the USB, you wanna take the USB out of the computer and we're gonna take it over to the computer we want to install Windows 11 onto and we're gonna put it straight in. So I'm gonna install straight back onto this computer. So all I'm gonna do is put this back in the machine and we'll continue from there. I've just put the USB back into the computer. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna switch on the computer. And in my case on the keyboard, I'm gonna be pressing the F12 key. And by pushing the F12 key on a gigabyte motherboard, that will get me into the boot drive section where I can select the USB as my boot device. So let's continue on the screen from here and install Windows 11. What I'm going to do is come down to my USB drive, which we've just installed Windows 11 onto. We're going to select the drive and in a second you should see that Windows 11 will start to load at the bottom of the screen. There you go, you can see Windows 11 is now loading. So this should only take a couple of seconds and there we go, we're in. What we're going to look for first is whether or not we want to change any settings. In this case, I'm going to keep it all as English United Kingdom because that's where I'm based. 
and I'm just gonna click next here. So I'm just gonna press install now in the middle of the screen there and that should begin the setup for Windows 11. Once we get this window, you can type in your license key just here, or if you don't have one yet, it's not a problem. You can click on, I don't have a product key and move on to the next step. At this point, you want to select which edition of Windows 11 you're going to install, whether it's home um, or pro or any of the other ones. And then we're gonna click next just over here. What might happen while you're installing Windows 11 is you might encounter this error right here. Now, this means that your system doesn't meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, and it's likely because you haven't enabled TPM on your motherboard. So what we're actually gonna do now is go and enable TPM on this motherboard, and then we're going to try again. I'm just in the BIOS at the moment where I've just enabled TPM. This video isn't a tutorial on how to enable TPM, so make sure to go and click in the description down below where we've got a detailed tutorial on how to enable TPM on Gigabyte motherboards. If you have MSI or Asus or any other motherboard, you'll be able to find many articles online which show you how to do this. So let's move on with the installation again and get it all finished up. I'm gonna select Windows 11 Home just there and press Next. And this is where last time we had the error, this time it has worked. So all we need to do now is have a quick scroll through the terms and conditions and press I accept just down here. I would recommend using custom install. So what we're gonna do is click on this here and I'll explain why in just a second. In this instance, we have a brand new drive in the system. So no other drives to interfere. All we want to do is press new here and this will create a new partition. And what it's gonna do is create your primary partition and a few backups as well, which help the system run smoothly. So the primary partition is where we're going to install Windows. So all we need to do is select this drive here and push next. Now the Windows 11 is actually gonna start installing. So we'll leave this to do its thing. And once it's finished, we'll come straight back and we'll continue. So we've come back to the computer and at this stage, Windows 11 has pretty much finished installing. All that's left to do now is set up Windows 11, put your account details on, and you're completely finished. Now, before you leave the video, I'm gonna show you one little trick first because you might find it very useful. When you get to this section of Windows 11 being installed, you might be in an unfortunate situation where you don't have any drivers. This means you're not gonna have any Wi-Fi or ethernet working on your computer, so you won't be able to set up an account. What we're gonna do is a little trick that allows you to bypass this part of the installation. All we're gonna do is press Shift F10 on the keyboard. This will open our command prompt. We're gonna type in task manager spelt task MGR or one word, as you can see there. Press enter. This is going to open our task manager. All we wanna do is scroll down and find network connection flow. We're gonna select this and end the task. What you'll find now is if I close this window and close this window, we've now skipped onto the next section of the Windows 11 installation and we can continue from here without setting up an account. We've just finished the setup, so Windows 11 is now completely installed and ready to use. The last thing I'll ask you to do is make sure to subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful and make sure to leave a comment if you've got any questions. I'll go through and I'll answer any questions pretty much every day um, whenever I get the chance. So make sure to leave a question down below. Without any further ado, I'll see you in the next video.